Calculate a travel budget. Travel across the Atlantic by boat is likely to cost around $1,000, but it can cost upwards of $4,000 per person, depending upon your cabin choice. Traveling between New York and major English cities is cheaper by plane. Book a cruise with Canard. This cruise company makes trips between Southampton and New York harbors with the Queen Mary II. If you want to book a boat trip between the UK and the US in the summer, this will be your best option. Cruises are not available between January and March through canard.com. If there is availability, booking last-minute cruises will yield the cheapest stateroom prices. Book your cabin according to your budget. Inside staterooms without windows cost between $650 and $900 per person. Suites can cost up to $4,000 per person per seven-night voyage. Reserve a seat on a positioning cruise. Every year, cruise lines relocate from Europe to the Caribbean. You can find a seat on one of these cruises. Visit a website like cruises.com and look specifically for positioning cruises leaving from London or Southampton. Positioning cruises offer some discounts on fares, since they do not stop at ports. Most travel agents and online travel websites will not list these cruises. You should look online or call the cruise ships directly to inquire about availability. Look for cruises that are approximately seven days long, or they may include travel to the Caribbean. Research passage on a freighter. Freighters can carry up to 12 passengers without hiring a doctor. This means that you can occasionally find a ticket that costs approximately $50 to $100 per night for a cabin, food and access to facilities. Freighter tickets are not like cruise ship tickets. They do not provide onboard entertainment. Occasionally, passengers are offered to attend meals and cocktail events with the captain and ship employees. Visit a la carte freighter travel at freighter-travel.com to look for freighter options. Passage can extend from 9 to 130 days, and you will pay per night. Freighters make delivery stops, since their main duty is to deliver cargo. These stops can take 12 hours to a few days. You must be flexible with your schedule in order to travel this way. Make sure to specify which amenities will be provided on the ship. Some freighters do not allow you to exit the boat in port, but they may not provide meals in port for these shorter trips. <laughs>